2022 was a disastrous year for the entertainment industry. And it's a wake up call for Hollywood because now they no longer have the excuse of, oh, the pandemic. The pandemic's keeping people away. Because as you can see, even the streamers are having a massive problem. And when you look at the box office, when you put something out that people want to see, like Top Gun Maverick, they'll come out and support in droves. But what people won't support is woke garbage. People are tired of it. Whether it's TV, whether it's movies, whether it's the streaming services. And Netflix found that out the hard way. Having their worst year in a decade. Woke fail. Netflix shares plummet more than 50% in 2022. Worst year in more than a decade. And when you decide to do things like drive Henry Cavill away from The Witcher in order to promote your diversity and identity politics garbage Witcher blood origin. When you do things like give Meghan Markle and Prince Harry a platform to spew their lies over and over again. People have had enough, and now it looks like heads are rolling at Netflix. Netflix co-CEO Reed Hastings resigns following disastrous 2022, will stay on as executive chairman. Uh, it seems familiar to the whole Bob Iger thing, doesn't it? When Bob Iger tried to get out of there when he knew it was about to go really bad for Disney and then come back later. Don't know if Reed Hastings is planning on coming back, but this is a guy who's been with Netflix essentially since the beginning, and now he's stepping away. Hollywood Netflix co-CEO Reed Hastings has abruptly resigned his position after nearly 25 years heading the company, signaling a sea change at the left-wing streamer. His resignation comes after Netflix concluded its worst year in nearly a decade, with its stock dropping more than 50% in 2022. They lost over $100 million in market cap. It was really bad for them. And they lost subscribers for the first time in a long, long time. Reed Hastings, who's one of Hollywood's most reliable Democrat donors, made the announcement Thursday during the company's fourth quarter earnings report. He said Ted Sarandos, co-CEO and former chief content officer, and Greg Peters will now serve jointly as co-CEOs. He said he will stay on as the role of executive chairman. Hastings, who had been with Netflix since its inception as a DVD delivery service, didn't provide a reason for his sudden resignation. And Netflix has been scrambling. They've been scrambling to try to get more subscribers, to try to hang on to the ones they have, to try to make more money. Remember when they announced, hey, we're gonna do an ad tier now, pay a little bit less, but you have to see ads. I'm sure that'll slowly increase over time just like the other one did, but that didn't go very well because when they did it, when they did it, when they first tried to put commercials, put ads in there, they ended up having to give advertisers their money back because not enough people signed up, not enough people wanted to watch this. And that's after losing millions and millions of subscribers over the course of the year. It's just one more indication that when it comes to the entertainment industry, people are tired of having woke agenda, identity politics, virtue signaling. They're tired of that taking the front seat as opposed to actually entertaining people. And are there good things every once in a while on Netflix? Absolutely, there are. However, it is just overloaded with woke garbage. And until that stops, until that promotion stops, I think the problems you're going to continue to see this happen for Netflix. When you look at something like Disney Plus, they can brag all they want about the subscribers they're gaining, but they lost $1.5 billion in just three months on their streaming service. Not enough people are signing up. Not enough people are watching these things. It is a disaster for all of Hollywood. And the woke chickens are coming home to roost. They are the ones that have done this to themselves, and now they're paying the price. Not exactly sure what made Reed Hastings, you know, whether he did it voluntarily, whether he left like that, whether he was forced out a little bit, who knows? Maybe it means even worse things are going to happen down the road for Netflix. Only time will tell. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.